Hey, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video, I'm going to show you the three best free ChatGPT alternatives. So, if you're new to the channel, you might not know that ChatGPT is probably the most popular AI writer on the market right now. I've been using AI writing tools for a while before ChatGPT came out, but even back when I started, most tools were using the GPT large language model, which is the software that runs the AI writers. And it is really great for uh, learning how to use AI writing tools and writing many things. And it can also be an excellent research assistant. That said, uh, there are plenty of reasons that you might want to use a different tool. ChatGPT's writing is pretty easy to spot. Even if you do a good job of customizing your instructions, it still tends to do a lot of certain things. And that's not specifically an issue in some cases, but in a lot of cases, when someone easily spots that you're using ChatGPT to write stuff, it may make them take you a little bit less seriously. Like for example, one way to get leads on Facebook is to post helpful little guides in groups. Like I used to post copywriting guides and marketing guides in some of the Facebook groups that I'm in. And then sometimes people would reach out to me and wanna work with me. And so, of course, a lot of people use ChatGPT for that now. You know, they just like they, they have ChatGPT write them a bunch of tutorials to post in all these different Facebook groups. And they usually just get made fun of because people that are in marketing groups and copywriting groups know how to spot ChatGPT's writing. But the real reason is that every large language model is going to have certain unique qualities. And ChatGPT is pretty heavily customized by OpenAI. There are a lot of restrictions in terms of what it will talk about or uh, what it will acknowledge. And for the most part, I don't even notice it because most of what I write is marketing content, like stuff about marketing and online business. And most of my clients have pretty mainstream businesses. But I recently did encounter some significant limitations with ChatGPT, where I was trying to do some additional research after reading a study and ChatGPT didn't want to acknowledge that the topic that I was researching had any validity to it. It was kind of denying that any studies had ever been done, even though there were plenty of studies. And it basically just wouldn't broach a topic that it had clearly been trained not to talk about. And there are a number of other reasons that you might not want to use ChatGPT. However, you can't argue that it is an excellent interface for ease of use. You don't have to have really any special training in order to interact with a a writing chatbot like this. And so now we're going to look at my three favorite free alternatives. The first one is WriteSonic. They actually have what they call ChatSonic inside of the larger WriteSonic tool. And if you sign up for a free WriteSonic account, you get 10,000 words a month that you can generate for free in their chatbot, which is a lot. I'm not sure exactly what the limitation is on a free ChatGPT account. It's probably a little more. However, WriteSonic has a bunch of other tools and templates, so it's definitely worth grabbing a free account. And WriteSonic is powered by the GPT large language model, so it tends to have fairly similar answers to ChatGPT. However, I find that its outputs are a little bit better. For example, uh, the, the one I'm looking at here is with all four of the tools with ChatGPT and the other three, uh, I've given it the same instruction, which is uh, what is the Lester Dent formula? And this is a formula for writing short stories that I'm learning about because I'm also a fiction writer. And all four of these tools did a good job of explaining what it is. And ChatGPT and WriteSonic do have very similar answers, but they're actually fairly different. They're just structured the same way. In both of them, you have like an explanation and then a point by point breakdown of how it works and then a little bit more information. Um, but when you actually look at the point by point, the WriteSonic one is actually significantly more helpful. I wouldn't say that ChatGPT's is necessarily incorrect, but if you're a writer trying to learn how to use this formula, then I would definitely say that WriteSonic did a better job. Also, as I mentioned, WriteSonic has a whole bunch of other templates and tools in here. Uh, they've got an article writing tool and a whole bunch of other templates, uh, all these different templates over here. And so it's gonna be really helpful for any kind of professional writing. And again, you get 10,000 words a month for free. The next one I'm looking at here is Gab AI. The website is gab.ai. And it gave me a significantly shorter answer than the other two. And I think the free account on Gab is a little bit less generous than the other two. I think it has a lower default token output. So it has like a shorter default message length. 
I have done more elaborate questions and it will write longer messages if necessary. And Gab's thing is basically free speech. Um, so it's much less limited than, than ChatGPT or any tool like WriteSonic that's built using the GPT LLM. And I just recently started using Gab. I haven't tried the premium version yet, though I'm planning to soon. And it also has image generators in here that you can use for free, which are pretty cool. And I, I really like the answer that it gave me. It's actually a very useful answer. I would say even though it's shorter and it certainly provided less information than the other two, uh, it gave easily as good a instruction set as WriteSonic did. And so if I wanted it to give me more information, I would just have to elaborate on my initial question here. So if you're trying to research or write something and you're running into problems with the restrictions that are being put on ChatGPT, then gab.ai is the first place that I would look. And the last one here is Sakra AI. The website is sakra.com. And Sakra is a little bit different than the others because it's not really just an AI writer. It's more of an AI coach, but it still has a chat feature where you can ask it questions and use it for research. And so its main thing is to serve as like a coach and a guide. That's why it's named after Socrates. But you can also use it to just learn about things. And so that's kind of the feature that I'm using here. And I actually had to ask it multiple questions because when I asked it what the Lester Dent formula was, uh, it gave me a very succinct answer. And because it's much more conversational and it's like a coach, it finished its answer by asking me if I've ever used the formula. So I said, no, please expand and fully explain the formula and why it's useful. And then it did a really good job of that. And so those are the three best alternative AI writing tools to chat GPT. Now I've been using AI writing tools for a while. So there are tons of AI writing tutorials on my channel if you're looking to learn how to use them more. And any tutorial that says chat GPT in the title you can use it to learn how to use all of these tools because they all work basically the same way. As you saw with Sakura, you had to kind of prompt it a little bit differently, but depending on what you're trying to write or learn about or research, one of these tools might be a better option for you and you'll be able to use the same kind of techniques and prompts for any of them. Now, if you found that video helpful and you want to see more of my videos in your feed and you want other people to discover them, Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you want, and share it with anyone who you think might find it helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.